Hey, welcome back guys to another VR experience. Today I'm checking out Google Blocks. This is pretty much Google's own 3D creation rendering program. It's kind of like Tilt Brush, except instead of using a 2D flat paintbrush in 3D space, you're actually creating 3D objects in 3D space, which is pretty awesome. All right guys, let me show you the tutorial. That way I can show you all the controls and functions. All right, so let's learn the basics. Who doesn't like ice cream? Moving. Move the cone closer to you. So you can squeeze on the side grips. And that'll make an object move closer to you. Switch to a sphere shape. Okay, so left and right. Toggles between the different shapes. Nice. Pile it on top. So the trigger. Now for the cherry on top. That's too big. Size it down. So down on the touchpad. Shrinks the shape. Perfect. Place the cherry on top. Boom. The trigger button. Let's paint it red. Pick up the paintbrush tool. Okay, so we have our palette. Here's the paintbrush tool. Flip it or the red color. Okay, so on the back of the controller, you have a color palette. Just use trigger to interact with the UI. Paint the cherry red. Okay, so touch the object, pull the trigger, and that'll paint the object. So your friend wants to copy, choose the grab tool. First, select everything. Click and hold in free space. Okay, so if you click and drag around the objects that you want to select, I'll select them, copy the cone, so left, and trigger. Your friend doesn't want a cherry. Grab the eraser. Okay, erase tool. Let's get rid of the cherry. Boom. That's better. Congrats, you've got the basics. Can't wait to see what you make. If you press the menu button, you can also see these different objects that people have made. It's about 10 pages. You can also sign in and like download other people's uh, creations as well. And you can also save your own creations in your own library. So I'm just gonna go and check out all these objects for you guys so you can see. I mean, that's pretty neat, right? Wow, this is a uh, pretty neat. Just using like primitive shapes, like a square, another square, another shape, another circle, sphere. And just using different colors, you can create an object like this. That's another interesting thing. You can use uh, transparent shapes. You can actually create like a glass object if you wanted. Yeah, that's neat. So this bubble is uh, transparent. You go inside, and there we have the uh, mermaid. Oh wow, look at this. So this looks pretty freaking neat using just like very primitive shapes. But with these primitive shapes, you can really create objects. Oh wow. We have like the trees, giant flowers, we have the waterfall. Ooh, they also have like a like shiny material on it for the water. It's pretty neat. And they have like all the like ripples and stuff. I like it. It's very cute. This is something I would actually want to create myself. Some like nature scene where it doesn't have to have like too much finesse, but it's like, you know, organic. Oh, okay. So you can actually like enlarge an object just by squeezing the side grips and pulling your arms apart. Oh. No way, someone created a fidget spinner in VR. Of course they would, that's cool. This actually looks pretty well done. This is where you put your mail. So when I look at these objects, I'm trying to like reverse engineer how they made it. So I think they started off with the first book, you know, just using a square primitive shape and then changed the color of the outside, duplicated that object four times, changed the colors, and voila, stack of books. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. So also when I look at this, I would see that they created one shape, duplicated it, and yeah. Carne asada, dude. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, he's breathing like different colored fire. I dig it, I dig it. It looks pretty uh, fun to make. Hmm, wow, that's really cool. This is something like I'd want to make myself. I think with this uh, program, I could just practice and I could make something for you guys. Oh, wow, nice. So this person created the whole scene. You have the rocks in the background, and then the green, the green field. That's really nice. This is pretty neat too. Um, just like nature and anything organic looks pretty fun to make. It doesn't have to be like extremely perfect, but you can just use like primitive shapes and different colors and create a scene. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow, so this is pretty nice. I like the uh, use of using the spheres to create the smoke. You had the trees like pushed apart as if they were being blown backwards. And we have a little green land on here as a canvas. The smoke starts to taper off, and here we have the ship. Nice, cute little ship. I dig this, this looks pretty charming. I like it. I'd want to create something like this as well. Cool, so it looks like we're underneath the island. Let me just 
shrink it down. Wow, that looks pretty neat. Look at this tree. Cool, cool. Wow, this is pretty cool. So this person did something organic as well, but he used different floors. So we got three floors here. First floor, have the houses, go up the mountain, climb up the mountain, get to another house. Then we got the cave. That's really cool. Pretty neat. I dig it. It's pretty neat that you can just like walk around a model, a 3D model, in your bedroom. It's like as if there's a 3D model literally right in front of my face. It's pretty cool. And this app is for free, so um, this looks pretty neat. We have like a bunch of triangle patterns. It looks like you created one and created those three, duplicated it and duplicated it again. Took this whole section and duplicated it once more, a couple times. And we have this pattern. That is pretty amazing. Looks like the person who created this had a lot of fun. Fancy, cool, very artistic. Freaky, but also awesome. You have a sword here, got the blood, you got a smirk on his face. Yeah, he just killed Medusa, bro. Cool, looks like we have like some Minecraft looking dudes. Oh, damn. This is pretty sick. I like all these uh, trees. There's a lot of detail in this one. Look at all these trees. He like tilted them along the mountain. We have the rocks, the top of the rocks. We got like background rocks. We got a little boat right here. There's a little secret section. If we go inside of it, what is this? Whoa. Okay, so we have a little, like a little factory in here. I guess it can scale it up. <sighs> wow. Okay, now I'm in the factory. How neat is that? That's uh, pretty cool. It's like I'm literally inside of it now. The creativity is endless. You have a tool that creates 3D objects. You let people upload their own art and it's endless. Oh, this is pretty cool. I love the pattern and the shape of this. This is really cool. Architecture is something you could play with with this uh, program. Damn, this looks pretty sick. This looks really complicated to make. Yeah, you know, it's like fire blasters and all kinds of stuff going on. Looks like there's a lot of detail in his uh, body parts. Pretty neat. I can dig it. I definitely can dig it. Okay, this looks like a nice like 3D idea concept to practice. Just doing organic like plants and stuff. Sick. Oh, I love the colors. Red, orange, green, and blue. You have like all the buttons here and whatnot. Pretty awesome. Damn, so this one definitely has a lot of detail. Look at all these like shapes that they had to put in. They definitely like drew this concept beforehand. Or maybe they just like freestyled it while they had the headset on. This looks sick. Damn, got the giant like jet thing in the back. This thing looks definitely beast. What a nice, uh, beautiful presentation. Oh, all right, nice. We have some cake here. Oh, sick. This one looks really sick. I mean, there's a lot of detail going on. Very nice. Very creative. I like the hotel. I like the colors. I like different materials. He has like, you see the internal organs going on. How to have the exoskeleton. Oh, wow. Hey, if you're like a cake designer, you can use this tool to create concepts before you actually create them in real life. Like all the different patterns. Oh, nice. So we have like an old school model car in here. That's pretty neat. I wonder if I can like scale it up and be inside of it. Yep. Sure can. This is the magic of VR, guys. It's magical. Alright guys, so I'm gonna try and paint my own scene. I'm totally noob at this, I just looked at all the art. But it's now time to try and create something myself. So maybe I might want to try and create something organic, like a little scene, like a waterfall maybe.
yeah guys, uh, that is Google Blocks. It's basically a program that allows you to create low poly 3D renders in real time right in front of your face in virtual reality. It's 3D, it's stereoscopic 3D. On a 2D screen, you just might see it in this little box. But if you can imagine, in VR, you can like put this object in the middle of your room, walk around it, paint it, duplicate, change colors, create shapes, layer things, erase them, modify them. It's pretty much limitless. It's just bound to your imagination. You can create anything that you want. Objects, scenes, and whatnot. It's not like too complicated and it's not like too like over the top, everything's low poly, it has a charming like texture and look to it, not too like heavy on your system. I really like it. It's available on Oculus and HTC Vive. And yeah, uh, if you guys enjoy this and want to see more of Google Blocks in the future, feel free to subscribe to see more. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.